टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ लाइव सर्जिकल वीडियो ऑफ ओपन एपेंडिसेक्टोमी एंड टेक्निक्स ऑफ डूइंग इट मोर प्रिसाइजली मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट इज डन लैप्रोस्कोपिकली बट एवरी सर्जन मस्ट बी वेल नोन फॉर डूइंग ओपन एपेंडिसेक्टोमी दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन मेजर सर्जरी परफॉर्म बाय ट्रेनी सर्जन ड्यूरिंग सर्जिकल रेसिडेंसी इन दिस केस वी हैव टेकन लांज इंसिजन यू कैन सी हेयर इट इज ट्रांसफर्स इंसिजन एंड मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ ग्रिड आयन इंसिजन अदर इंसिजन आर ग्रिड आयन इंसिजन ऑल्सो कॉल्ड मैकबर्निज इंसिजन और ऑब्लिक इंसिजन राइट पैरामेडिन इंसिजन कैन बी टेकन फॉर स्पेशल केस एंड ऑल्सो रुदर फोर्ड मॉरिसन्स इंसिजन लांस क्रीज इंसिजन इज कॉस्मेटिकली बेटर एंड एक्सपोजर इज एडिकुएट द फैट and the fascia is being cut using electrocautery observe how surgeon is using it without touching to the skin edges always keep in mind never use cautery on the skin now put the c retractor this is the external oblique muscle you have to incise it along the incision that is parallel to the direction of muscle fibers here you can see muscle being incised with cautery and then split it using the artery forceps observe how surgeon is using forceps and cautery always do careful dissection while opening so that it will be easy during closure then advance the c retractor below the external oblique you will see internal oblique and transverse abdominis muscle split it in the direction of muscle fibers see how artery forceps is being used to split the muscle care must be taken not to go deep if not you will blindly open the peritoneum and bowel injury might be possible after that hold the peritoneum with two artery forceps and lift it up palpate with finger for any abdominal contact after confirmation cut it using blade then use scissor to extend the incision here use shearing moment of scissor not cutting now you can see the abdominal content after opening abdominal cavity use back of forceps and hold the cecum over tinea cola this white is band like structure held in back of is a tinea cola you can observe it to find appendix stretch the tinea inferiorly during way you will came to see iliocecal junction medially 2 to 3 cm inferior to iliocecal junction appendix lies usually observe how gentle movement of back cup is done to trace the appendix to avoid injury to the wall of cecum and here is the appendix see the tip is inflamed now hold it with back cup at near the tip and with second back cup at near the base after identification of appendix now you have to separate it from meso appendix meso appendix is a portion of mesentery it extends till the tip of appendix but in this case it is small you can see here it contains appendicular artery vein nerve lymphatic vessels and lymph node you have to separate it very carefully because it contains appendicular artery which is end artery and which is the branch of iliopolic artery by using the hemostatic forceps see how it is being used here after creating hole in appendix and meso appendix apply the two hemostatic forceps and cut it between two forceps and then towards the body parts you have to ligate the meso appendix 
it should be tight enough so that even small amount of blood should not be trickling there see here after application of forceps it is being cut and then now you have to ligate it using barber thread you can also use absorbable material vicryl here the knot should be tight enough so that bleeding should not be there after releasing the hemostatic forceps see how knot is being pushed this is a reef knot if you don't know let me know in comment section i will create a video how to tie this knot if meza appendix is too large you have to ligate it two to three times till you reach the base of appendix here one more ligation is needed so we are planning to do assistant always keep in mind that while surgeon is tightening the knot you should not release the forceps very fastly it should be released very slowly so that the major appendix held in forceps will not slip out while tightening the knot see here the knot is tightened and now it is slowly opening now observe the appendix from all sides whether you reach till the base of appendix or not if not you can tie one more thread to separate the major appendix see how surgeon is using a little bit traction and detraction to see whether you are reached base or not here one more tie is needed always go step by step don't go in hurry to separate the major appendix in single tie after separation of major appendix completely till the base of appendix crush the appendix over the base and apply hemostat above the crushed portion then ligate the base of appendix by barber thread do not transfix always do ligate you can see here that appendix is ligated at the base and the thread is not being cut till you excise the appendix now excise the appendix by blade in one stroke between the knot and hemostat now apply the oodin solution over the stump of appendix and then coagulate it with the help of cautery only mucus of stump is to be coagulated not the serosa or other muscular layer and then cut the thread after checking the security of knot now come to the closure part the peritoneum is closed by bursting suture if you don't know how to take bursting suture you can watch my video on the bursting suture i will give you link in the description here peritoneum is being closed you can watch it before taking suture you have to apply hemostat force to hold the peritoneum and while taking bite you have to take care not to prick the bowel or abdominal content so that just lift up the peritoneal edges and take a bite see here how surgeon is taking it see the needle is being taken all in a circular way through the peritoneum and then the other end is tied with it see the needle is not in direction of abdominal cavity it is outside so it will not prick or injure the bowel if it is then there may be a complication post operative complications 
after peritoneum closure we have to close the internal oblique and transverse abdominis muscle with simple interrupted sutures here care must be taken that suture should not be too tight you have to just approximate the muscles so that the blood supply to muscle will not be hampered observe here the muscle is just approximate not too tight after this you have to close the external oblique muscle in the same manner just approximate not too tight see here it is being sutured by simple interrupted suture here the suture material is vicral tuture which is absorbable lastly across the deep fascia by simple in interrupted suture and then take the skin by subcutaneous sutures if you don't know how to take subcutaneous sutures you can watch my video on it i will give the link in the description see here the interrupted suture is being taken to the deep fascia to approx the wound if you are going to take simple interrupted sutures by non absorbable material on skin then you need not be to approx this fascia you can directly take the sutures but for subcutaneous sutures you should approx it after this lastly the subcutaneous suture is being taken because of this there will be only a thin line of incision no any scar on it see the final closure it is very beautiful if you like this video please do subscribe to ayurveda tech youtube channel for more videos and share it with your friends